Hello guys and welcome to another video by Deuce Disco. Today we have the Paul Macbeth prototype driver called the Hades. It's a speed 12, glide 6, turn of negative 3 and a fade of 2. It has the Discraft stability rating of 1.0. It has a nice feel in the hand and the plastic is a lot softer than what it was with the Paul Macbeth Kong or the now called Zeus when it was in prototype phase. Without further talking, let's go to the field and see how they fly. Alright guys, I'll be comparing the Hades to the Crank and Crank SS because it falls between those discs in terms of stability in the Discraft lineup. When throwing the Hades, I noticed it has high low speed stability and low high speed stability. That was something I haven't noticed in any other discs I have reviewed. It made the disc sometimes feel more overstable than it actually is. And it made the disc a bit unreliable sometimes because of its flight characteristics for me. The lighter one also is a touch more understable than the heavier one. Uh, I was throwing the Hades a lot off camera uh, to try and gain more trust with it, but I still wasn't comfortable throwing it with more than 60% power. When I was throwing it with 60% power, I could trust it to fly straight with pinpoint accuracy without compromising distance because of the huge glide it has. Uh, I was only throwing the Hades with max power when I wanted to throw a really aggressive uh, sweep, swiping hyzer that would utilize the huge glide it has and it would fly really really far. Uh, also that's something that you shouldn't really try, try in the winds because the Hades doesn't stand up to winds really well. Uh, I also had a lot of issues throwing the Hades nose up a problem I really don't have with other discs but it was a problem I also had back in the day with the Proto uh, Kong, now, now known as Zeus, but those problems aren't really apparent anymore with the stock run Zeus that I have in my bag currently. The Hades has a nice ESP blend that is a touch stiffer than the current stock run Zeus blend. Uh, I think the Hades is a great addition to the Paul Macbeth driver lineup as it has something for everyone. It is a great first driver for those who can hit the 100 meter mark as it will fly dependably straight and fade out. For more experienced players it can be for example a more touchy woods disc where accuracy is crucial but you still need the distance. Huge arms can utilize it for huge rollers or big unhyzer shots that never fade back. Unfortunately I can't try those one out. Uh, I think this disc can find a spot in everyone's bag when you learn the shots it is appropriate for you. It might need a few more throws than your regular driver in my opinion. I was losing hope in the beginning with this disc because it felt so unpredictable sometimes. But then I found the perfect slot with it for it that is in the woods. I'll be actually keeping the heavier black Hades in my bag and I will be using it when I want to navigate through tight wooded shots where accuracy is a key to success rather than power or max distance. For hyzer flip shots I will still be keeping my Crank SS or my Avenger SS that will do the hyzer flip game better for me. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.